Está bueno. Tienen la hora libre. Hello guys. Hey teacher. Are you there? No. Teacher. Yes, teacher. Hello, hello. Are you Are you still here? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for waiting. No problem. Don't worry. Caught in traffic. And then something yeah. not very usual today. But I understand. It was a little, a little accident, and that took me like for ten minutes. I couldn't move. But then, uh, you know, that what happened, right? But, but here I am. Okay. okay. How's everything? Fine. Good. Good. Really good. Good. Yesenia, how are you today? Fine. Fine. Okay. Ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. I'm ready. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna get it started now with the uh, future. Remember, yesterday we said that we were going to talk about future, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so today we have the first introduction. Okay. Okay, this is the, the first objective that we have, which is in this session, you will listen to a conversation between two people making plans. Future with present continuous and be going to are introduced. Okay, and here we have the conversation. You listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express the future. Plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay. Did you see any any words or expressions? Afterward, for me. Ways to express the future as many times as you need to. Making plans. Okay, here. Part A. Here we go. Okay, we got another here. Okay, so we have uh, what are you doing tonight? So then, upward. So afterward. Yes. Afterward is, uh, for example, look, um, I don't know the meaning. I will tell you afterward. Okay. Like for example, after what it means, uh, do you want to do you want to play a game in this moment? Well, not in this moment, but after work. Okay. Like after, like after the class, after I finish what I am doing. Okay. Okay. Thank so that's you. an afterward. Okay. Any other vocabulary or expression? Okay, then listen to the pronunciation and intonation, okay? Once more, and then we go to the practice. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Okay. I need two volunteers. Who wants to read? I need a boy and a girl. The girl? I'm a boy. 
<laughs> okay, good. So you're gonna be Miguel. Okay, and Lynn, one of the girls. Hi. Okay, go ahead. Uh, say, say Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go to bowling? No. Do you want to go bowling? Okay. I I love to, but I can't. I go into my. I go into a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow some fine. I am going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, just uh, remember this. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are what are you doing? Do you want Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh well, maybe some other. This one, right? Some other. Some other. Some other. Some other time. Okay. And that will that when you pronounce like this, your English will will sound more fluent. Okay. You say, mm, well, be maybe some other. Some other. Uh -huh. Some other time. Okay. Two more volunteers, and that's it. Jorge, do you want to read? Okay. Yes. You read the part of Miguel and Roxana. You read the part of Lynn. Okay. We're gone. Okay, here, say. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I am going to soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time? Some other. Maybe some other time. Maybe some other time. Just one. Some, some other. Some other. Okay. Are you, okay. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sometime? I'm going to go until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work. Maybe we, we can get some dinner? Sounds great. Sounds great, okay? Sounds so, great. Tomorrow's Friday anyways, okay? So you can you can have <laughs> dinner. <laughs> okay. Good. See the next one? Uh, let me see now. Vanessa, can you please read this uh, objective here? Okay. By the end of this section, you will have learned how to use future future with the present continuous and be going to that's correct okay so we're going to use the present continuous and be going to and i will also tell you other forms to, to use uh, how to use the future okay there are four different ways okay so we will see that tonight okay now I see the video here. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we we'll stay and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101, exercise three, grammar focus future with present continuous and be going to with present continuous what are you doing tonight i'm going to a soccer match are you doing anything tomorrow no i'm not with be going to plus verb what is she going to do tomorrow she's going to work until five are they going to go bowling yes they are as you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. 
we may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan the actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous. Instead, we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus verb, plus I and B. Example, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between B and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, am, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus B plus subject plus verb plus ING plus complement and question mark. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this. WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Okay, if you see these expressions are very, uh, let's say, important for, for one of the uses of the, the future, for tonight tomorrow or Friday, it can be tomorrow night, okay, if you want to be more specific, next Saturday, okay, next month, okay, in two weeks, okay, there are many time expressions that, you know, are very useful in this structure that we're going to start. Sure. Okay. On Friday, this weekend, next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Hi. So okay. Do you have any, I mean, do you have a, an idea of how to use going to first? Let's see going to. Okay. When do we use going to? When the, uh, some people are different activities uh, in the uh, near in your time, or for example, may I have something to do at night or tomorrow in the morning? Okay, that could be one. That could be one, right? Yes. What else? I think uh, when you planning an uh -huh. activity. When you plan an activity, right? Also, in what other situation do we have? Can we use going to? You first decide. Which one? Predicted, but not sure. Which one, Rudy? Predicted. Predictions. Uh -huh. predictions, predictions, to make predictions, that's correct, okay? Good, let me show you a picture in which you can use will or going to. Then you will tell me which one is better. Okay. See the picture? Yes. Okay, so you see it says be going to and will, right? 
And then the man says, oh no, it's not going to rain. Why, why does he say it's going to rain? Why you wish. Uh -huh, but why? Why does he say that? Because it's a cloud. Uh -huh. Because it's because he can see he can see the clouds. Okay. He see the thunder. Thunder. Uh -huh, the cloud the clouds are dark. Yeah. And then you can predict. You can predict that it's going to rain. Rain. Yes? yes. Okay. And then for sure is very very sure that he's going to get wet. It's not a prediction. Well, mm. If it rains, he will get wet. Why? <laughs> Why will he get wet? <laughs> because 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 it's, it's sure that when rain, uh -huh. he wet. Because he don't because have an umbrella. Correct. That's right. Then you see that he doesn't have an umbrella. Then it's going to rain. I am not inside the building, yeah. it will get wet. But what can you predict in this picture? You're going to fall in the hole. Uh -huh. The man is going to fall <laughs> into the hole, right? Yeah. The man is going to fall into the hole. Why can we predict that? Because he is not seeing it. Uh huh. Exactly. He's because he's not looking. He's because he's he's wearing a skate. Uh huh. He's, yes, he's no, he's in the uh, roller skates. He's Horror distracted. distracted watching, he's distracted looking at the at the clouds. And can he's see the hole. Can see the hole, right? He can see the hole. So we can predict he's going to fall, right? <laughs> This is, for going example, to. you can see some things, uh, a person is going to fall. Uh, you tell, we tell the children sometimes, uh, the children are playing on the table, say, you are going to fall. Or the children are playing with a football inside the living room, mm -hmm. you are going to break the TV. Break. Yeah. And you are going to break something. We can predict that something bad mm -hmm. is going to happen, right? Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so this is going to. Okay, and now let's see. The man forgot his umbrella. The man is going to fall. Well, to fall. Wait. Yes, right? Okay. Now, here there are some explanations. And please, could you please read this chart check? Yes. Chart check one. Check the correct answer. How many farms does B have in B going to? Okay. Now look look at look at this look at this chart and tell me the correct answer. One, two, or three. Okay. I read. Uh huh. Which one? How many? One, two, um, or three. I, How many forms of B? I'm not to look at B. How many forms? Three. 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 I am, he is, he is. He is. We, are. we are. Okay, for example, Yesenia, what are you going to do after class? Uh, huh? The same whole night. Okay. <laughs> sleep. You're, you're going to sleep. Okay. Very I am good. going to sleep. <laughs> I am going to sleep. Okay. That's a plan. And you know, we can predict, right? That we can predict two things, right? From this class, we are going to eat or we are going to sleep, okay? So there are two predictable events, right? Events. It can be other things, right? Probably one of you is going to work or is going to do something else, okay? But then you say, I am going to sleep. Uh, then Yesenia, she is going, is going to sleep. To sleep. To sleep. Okay. Soon. Soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> soon. Very soon. Okay. <laughs> and uh, she's going. She's going to fall asleep in the class. Huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay. And then uh, another one that we can say, for example, we are going. 
Oh no, Gio. Gio, and Gio is going to watch a movie tonight, right, Gio? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to watch a movie too. Okay, I have a homework. <laughs> so, Gio and I, we, we are going to watch, watch a movie. movies. Okay, movies. Because movies. you're gonna watch a movie, yeah. and I'm going Let's, to watch another uh, yeah. movie. Okay. Movie. Okay. okay. Good. Excellent. Questions? Okay, this is going to. Now let's see. Start check two. Uh, William, can you please read this one? Yes. Uh, start check two. Uh, Thirty two or if false. In question, a four of P goes after the subjects. Okay. In questions, the better B goes after the subject. True or false? Oh. It is? Questions. You know, gonna be true. Question, in questions. In questions, yeah. the form of yes. is after the subject. In question. Uh huh. It's not before. Exactly. It's before. So then? False. False. Okay. Oh, false. False. Because in questions, you say, Am I going to? Okay. Am I going to sleep uh -huh. right yes. now? Mom? Uh -huh. Am I going to sleep right now? Okay. Am I going to sleep so. soon? Am I going to sleep soon? I don't think so. so uh, for example, uh, Vanessa, are you going to you are you going to work tomorrow? Yes. Yes, I am. Right. Are you no. going to wash the dishes? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Okay, so are. Uh, is, are you going to stop? Uh, I have to stop. Wash the dishes? Washing the dishes? I don't think so. Washing the <laughs> okay. If I don't wash Please. the dishes, if I don't wash the dishes, I don't have dinner. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. And Xiomara, are you going to study uh, English tomorrow? No, I'm not going to study tomorrow. Perfect. You have vacation, no problem. Okay. <laughs> Everybody has permission tomorrow. Okay. Everybody has, okay. Don't study, but practice. Okay. You can practice. Yes. Practice. Okay. <laughs> Good. Then this is yes, no questions. Am I going to live soon? Yes, I am. Yes, is I he am. going to live soon? Yes, he is. Are you going to live soon? Okay. You say yes. Yes, I am. I am. Okay, and the negatives, no you aren't, no he isn't, or no I'm not, or, or you can also say, I don't think so, okay, mm -hmm. if you are not very sure, I am not sure, okay, for example, are you going to, are you going to go to the stadium tomorrow, uh, I don't think so, oh uh, uh, no, I never go to the stadium. Oh, I don't like. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't like to go to. The so you can answer in other ways, right? But you yeah. can also say, "Yes, I am," or "No, I'm not." It depends on the information that you want to give. Also, you can use WH question. When are you going to leave? When are you going to? Uh, let's say. Travel. Go when, to the beach. When are you going to go to the beach? Okay. When are you going to go to the beach? Okay. Or why? Why are you going to study French? Okay. Why are you going to sleep tonight? Okay. Why are you going to watch that movie? Okay. Many different. And you can also use who. Who are you going to go to the movies with? Who are you going to study English with? Who are you going to practice English with? Okay? With. Yes, this is going to. Now? Uh, let me see now. Future. Yes. Evelyn, can you please read this chart check? Three, secret yes. truth or false. The first will is the self or subjects. Okay. okay. 
when we use will, is the same for all the subjects? Yes. Yeah. Yes, right? It is true. You don't change it. Okay? In future, we always say, I will, you will, he will, she will, it will, we will, they will. Okay? Contraction, I'll, he'll, she'll, it'll, will, you'll, they'll. Okay? So those are contractions. And when you have a question, will, will you, okay, will you, go, will you go to the United States this year? Will you go to the United States? Yes, I will. And in negative? No, I won't. I won't. No, I won't. Okay. No, I won't. okay. For example, will you, like, uh, for example, Will you pay your credit card tomorrow, Xiomara? Uh, Repeat the question. Will you pay your credit card tomorrow? Mm. Um, yes. <laughs> he will. <laughs> yes, I will. Yeah, very responsible. Uh, yes, I will. Very responsible woman. Okay, that's good. Liz, will you, will you cook tomorrow? No. I am not cooked tomorrow. I know we'll I, cook tomorrow. I won't. I'm inviting. Okay. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, right? Yes. No, I won't. Invited. I won't. Okay. Excellent. Okay. So remember negative. No, I won't. No, I won't. No, I won't. Yes, I will. Okay? Yes, I will. Jorge, will you change? Will you change your car this year? Uh, no, I won't. No, I won't. Gio, will you will you sell your car this year? Mm, not yet. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> not yet. Look, this is another one, right? Not yet. Not <laughs> okay. But he's not saying no. I won't. There is a possibility. No, I won't. Maybe okay. later. Ah, maybe yeah. later. Correct. The possibility exists. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, big deal, teacher. Uh -huh. It's coming a, a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Hey, teacher. Okay. Uh huh. Will you send this chart to the group? Oh sure, I have it. Okay. Then uh, as soon as I finish, because I can, I think I can say I can send you the PowerPoint presentation complete. Okay. Um, In the WhatsApp group. Be better. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank I will. You. No problem. Okay. Uh, let me see what else. So uh, we have. Okay, the next one. This is another explanation. Yesenia, Yesenia has the a teacher's voice, right? Yesenia, can you please read this? Okay. Um, you can. You can use, you can use be going to or will to talk about future plans or prediction. Okay. Now look at this chart, for example. Past. Past. Uh-huh. Now, uh, attend a conference in future. Okay, so then this is the future. Now read the examples, please. Uh, professor okay. Broom. Broom. Broom going to attend a conference next week. Or Professor uh, Broom, Broom will attend a conference next week. Okay. I think it's going to be very interesting, or I think I will be it'll, very. It'll, it'll, it'll be. It'll. 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 I think it. It'll. No, it'll, 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 it'll be very perfect. interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay, nice. Thank you, Josenia. Okay, it'll be very interesting. Okay, so here you can see this too, right? Okay, now, sorry. Um, yes. Now, Liz, can you please read the second one? Here. You'll be going to when there is something 
in the present that leads to the predictions. Okay. Use will when you decide something at the moment of speaking. Okay. Now, look, at the, look at those that are close. Not look at those that are close. Okay. No. Franz is speaking at noon. Oh, I think I'll go to his talk. Okay. You got it. Okay, for example, remember, going to when something in the present leads you to a something, right? When you go to a restaurant, when you go to a restaurant and the, and the waiter asks, okay, are you ready to order? Then you say, yes, I am. Okay. And then you say, I will have the, uh, have. the roast beef. I will have the roast beef because it's a decision that you are making in the moment. Okay. Yes. Suppose I said, okay, guys, uh, well, that's all for today. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. It's a greeting in the moment. Okay, if the phone, if your telephone is ringing in this moment, okay, and you are busy, then probably your son or your somebody, your friend tells you, okay, I'll get it, I'll answer, okay, it's a decision that you do in the moment, okay, what happens if you are at the airport, you are at, or you are at the airport or a place, and you see that a person needs help. What do you say? Okay. And may, I help may I help you? you? As a first, may I help you? But then you say, yeah. I will help you with that. Don't I'll worry. Help okay? I'll, I'll help you with that. It's a decision that you make in the moment. Okay? No questions? Okay, now look at this. One, okay. Now you can predict. Okay, let me see. Okay, Gio, can you read the instructions, please? Describe. Look at the pictures. They show events from a day in the professor's room life. Write predictions or guesses. Use the words in the box and a form of be going to or not be going to. Okay. Then you can see this one, for example, this one you can okay. say it's going to rain. This is what we can predict, right? Now, what can we predict here in the number two? Take a trip. He's going to take a trip. Going to He's going to take a trip. Take a trip. Take a trip. Okay. He is going to take a trip. Okay. Yesenia? What about number three? Uh, he going to uh, can be negative. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he wants. He's not. He he not uh, be going, going to take a drive. trip. To drive. To drive. Or drive. Drive. To uh -huh. drive. He's not going to drive. Why not? Because, because, he's, he's, going because he's taking a train. A train. Uh -huh, because he's going to take a train. Okay? He's not going to drive because he's going to take a train. Mm -hmm. William, what about this one? Mm, he's going to give a speech. He's going to give a speech. Okay? Good. And Roxana? Or five. He going to answer the phone. Answer the phone. Correct. Okay. Answer the phone. And in the number six, Yamara. He is not going watching TV. Okay. He is not TV. going to watch TV. Okay. What is he going to do, Liz? Liz, what is he going to do? 
He's going to read a paper. Okay, he's going to read the paper. He's going to read the newspaper. Okay, that's correct. Okay, so these are, you know, how we can predict. So in this moment like this is when we use going to. Okay, because you can see what it is going to happen. Okay, then we have another one. Here. Okay, this is the other one, right? Using the present continuum to express the future. We are leaving for Mars soon. Okay, and here we have, let's see, here. Okay, uh, Xiomara, can you read the letter C? Just be going to will or the present pro progressive to talk about future intentions or plans. Now read these three examples. Dr. Green is going to speak tomorrow. Dr. Green will speak tomorrow. Dr. Green is speaking tomorrow. Okay. So you see, for example, that the meaning is uh, probably a similar right mm -hmm. but going to sounds like he has a plan right will sounds more more certain okay more more certainty okay and is speaking sounds like there is no way you can change it okay for example if i say what are you doing listen to this question what are you doing jorge what are you doing uh, tomorrow or after class? What are you doing only? That's a good question, but what are you doing? Uh, actually, I study. I am going to study English. Okay, I am studying English. Okay, the, look at this question. What are you doing? In this moment, is I am studying English. Right? Now, Jorge asks tomorrow the future. or weekend, right? So it's important that we give or that we use a time expression. If I say, Jorge, what are you doing on Sunday morning? I, Jorge, he's going to... Turn. I'm going to? You say, for example, what are you doing? What are you doing on Sunday morning? Okay, I'm going to church. I'm going to mass. Um, I'm visiting, I am visiting my mother on Sunday morning. Okay, I am taking my children to the park. I'm okay. going to work. Uh -huh. I am working. I am working on Sunday. I'm working. Okay. For example, uh, Ronnie, uh, do you uh, can you play tomorrow? Uh, can you play soccer tomorrow? Uh, morning. <laughs> the Tusa. What's that? <laughs> Oh, the soap opera. La novela, Henry. Could you repeat, please? I forgot the question. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You play, can you, uh, play soccer. Can you play soccer uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm going to. No. Can you play soccer tomorrow morning? Yes or no? No, I can't. No, I can't. Okay, no, I can't. I'm going to work. Then work. you say, I am working tomorrow. I, I am working. I'm working. Uh -huh. You can use like this. It's, it's not correct. I, I'm going to work. It is correct. But which one sounds more, for example, uh, more emphatic? I am working work. tomorrow or I am going to work tomorrow? Mm -hmm. huh? I'm working tomorrow. Okay. For example, Liz, what are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? Excuse me? What are you going to do tomorrow afternoon? Tomorrow? Tomorrow in the afternoon. In the afternoon. I'm going to, to work. I'm going to work. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who is who is staying at home tomorrow? I am going to stay at my home at 11 p.m. 11 p.m. Okay. 11 p.m. Too late. Okay. Yes. <laughs> 
who is staying at home tomorrow morning? Who? Who from the group? Who is staying at home? I am going to stay uh, alone <laughs> in my house. <laughs> okay. So they, who? George? Are you staying home? No. No. I am, I am going to stay in my work. I'm okay. I am working tomorrow. I am working tomorrow. Working William, tomorrow. what are you doing yes. tomorrow? Um, I am go, I'm going to, to be in my, in my work. Okay. I'm going to be in my work. Okay. Or I am working. You can use this too. I am working. I'm going to be in my work. Okay, good. Yesenia, what are you doing, uh, let's say, Saturday afternoon? Uh, I am going to sleep with my daughter. Okay, you sleep with your daughter. Okay. Oh, you have another chance to sleep. <laughs> I like. Sleep. Yes, no, you don't like it. You love it. Huh? I love sleep. <laughs> you love enjoy it. it. Yeah, more than that, right? More than that. Okay, good. And Gio, what are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, let's say um, let's say Saturday night. Uh, probably, I'm gonna be a little drunk <laughs> because I'm gonna be celebrating. <laughs> yeah. What are you celebrating? Um, Valentine's with my okay. friends. Then you say, for example, <laughs> what are you doing on Saturday night? I am getting a little drunk. Yeah. Okay. I am getting that, a little drunk. For sure. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm a little, a lot of, a lot of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am going to get to see. a little. Okay, the two forms. Okay, good. Now let's see what else. Uh, here we have the start. Uh, well, the often the present progressive. Uh, Vanessa, can you please read the letter? <coughs> uh, Vanessa? The letter D. Or e, e. E, e. Okay. We often use the present progressive when we talk about future plans that have already been arranged. There is usually some reference to the future that shows that the event is not happening now. Okay. And the example, I'm flying to Mars next week. I've already go, gotten a ticket. Okay. Future plans that have already been arranged. Future plans that have already been arranged. Then we use present progressive with a time expression. Remember, remember in the video? Tomorrow, next time, uh, on Saturday, this weekend. This week. weekend. Uh -huh. Okay, so when you have a plan, for example, I am celebrating my birthday tomorrow. Okay, it's a plan. Okay, so that says future plans that have already been arranged. For example, I am working tomorrow morning. It's a plan that has already been arranged. I can't change that. Only if I have an emergency, right? Okay. What is a plan that you have for sure next week? You can use, for example, I am flying, I am buying, I am paying, I am whatever. Think about one sentence. Using I am, verb in ing, a complement, and a time expression. Next week, next Monday, next Tuesday, uh, next Saturday, anything. When you're ready, let me know. One sentence. Okay? Who's ready? Um. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. I am eating 
to push us tomorrow morning. Perfect. Okay. I am eating pupusas tomorrow morning. Okay, that's, I mean, for example, if you already have ready, I mean, if you have the pupusas ready, then you say, okay, so that's my breakfast for tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Then, for example, okay. I am teaching a class tomorrow at 7 a.m., okay? I am teaching a class tomorrow at 7 a.m. Another sentence. <laughs> I am going to dinner uh, outside with my wife. I am having dinner. Oh, having dinner. Yes. I am having dinner with my wife. Or oh, for example, you can say, I am eating out. Eating out. Thank I am you. eating out with my wife tomorrow. Okay, perfect. What else? Another one? I am swimming um, in a pool next week. Perfect. I am swimming in a pool next week. Okay, because you can you say I'm swimming on the lake, I'm swimming in the ocean, in the, the, the beach. Okay, I'm swimming in a pool next week. Perfect. Another example. Remember that is a a plan that you already have in your mind. For example, I am, uh -huh. yeah. I am dancing with my friends this weekend. Perfect, exactly, right? So they say, okay, that means another way to say it, this is the plan, okay? All your friends said, okay, Liz, we're going, uh, we're going to have a party this weekend. We're going to dance. Okay, perfect. So you have the plan. I am dancing with friends this weekend. Excellent. Another one. Another plan that you have already set in your agenda for next week. Mm -hmm. I am eating pupusas tomorrow. I am eating pupusas tomorrow. Okay, every Friday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. The this is another another one. Okay, Moises. Uh, I I am I am going to I'm going to cook the dinner. Okay, I am cooking last night. I am cooking dinner tomorrow night. I am cooking. Okay, I'm going. I'm cooking to dinner tonight. I'm cooking. Okay, I'm tomorrow cooking night, dinner but... tomorrow <laughs> night. Okay. Uh, Remember that if you see here, we are using only one verb. I am cooking what? Uh, dinner. Dinner. Uh, okay. I am cooking dinner tomorrow night. Okay. okay. I am. I am washing, I am washing the dishes next week, okay? I am washing the dishes all week, okay? Never mind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi. I am dri I'm driving to work the whole next week. Okay, I'm driving to work all week, okay? Or next week. Perfect. Okay, you see, okay, remember, we use the ing form, the progressive or continuous, to express future plans that have already been arranged, a plan that you have set, okay, established. And you use I am or he is, okay, flying, one verb, the, the, what you are going to do, okay, here, and the time expression. For example, I am uh, I am moving to another house next year. Okay, I am uh, changing my job uh, next month. Okay, and then uh, for example, I am finishing paying my house uh, in two years. Okay, so then you can use that one. And remember, going to because it's the most common one that we use is when we can predict or also when we have plans, right? Or we are planning to do something, okay? I am going to play soccer, but when we use going to, okay, when we use going to here, remember that is for predictions or guesses. Then you say, for example, I am going to, 
I am going to fly to Vero. I am going to fly. I am going to work. I am going to work. I am going to buy. So you're going to use another verb. I am going to what? To study. I am going to see. I am going to watch. Okay? It's different from this. Probably this is something that you can decide in this moment. Okay? Um, I'm not sleepy and I am, I don't feel tired. Uh, I'm going to go out with my friends after class. Mm -hmm. Okay? Or I'm going to watch a movie. Okay? Or I'm going to, to, what, to listen to some music. I'm going to listen to music. Okay? More verb. And that's it. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. So then I will I will send you this information, right? So you can you can read it. There are examples, explanations, and there are other forms of how to use the future in the in this um. In, in our platform, you only have the going to, okay, going to, and also we have to use the ing form or the present continuous, right? The one that we were practicing. The question forms and the time expressions. Just let me show you this. Okay, here. Okay, then you're ready to. Okay, if you uh, if you don't feel, and this is will you do anything tonight? If you want to go? This is the other be going to. Okay, you can do it on if you want. Okay. No, I'm not. With B going. Okay, remember that according to the, according to this unit, you only need to uh, in the test probably will need only present continuous to use future and going to. Okay. And but in the in the PowerPoint in the PowerPoint presentation that I would send you, then you have also the will, and you also have the present the simple present. Okay. For example, I will tell you this in Spanish. It says, eh, "Cuando tenemos examen?" Is in present, in past, or in future? Future. Okay. Another question. <laughs> Cuando termine este curso? When will finish next, this course? Next month. Uh -huh. Okay, no, but would you say, for example, that, eh, ¿cuál es la respuesta? ¿Cuándo termine este curso? The future. We'll next uh -huh. week. Next week, right? Say, for example, listen to this. This course, this one, finishes, finishes, third person. Finishes next Thursday. Thursday. Okay. This course finishes next Thursday. I am using simple present. What is the form of the next two? Este curso termina jueves. Why? Why do you use simple present? Because it's a date that is uh, that you cannot move. Okay. For example, when you have a, a in the airport, at the airport, when you have an airplane to catch an airplane, right? The plane leaves. Okay. The plane leaves at seven. The plane leaves at eight. Both simple present. Okay. You will see that. The Okay. Lo último que me dijeron ahora en 
push, push. Dos veces te lo dije. The mute, the mute. Ok, eh, me dijeron en inglés corporativo que pidan en su empresa. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Silent, please. Please, please. Pónganle el, el mute. I don't see who's speaking. Ok, entonces me pidieron en inglés corporativo que les recordara de que ya están pidiendo los documentos para el siguiente curso. Entonces, es que para que hablen en sus empresas, para que ya les tengan todo listo, ok. Porque ya van a mandarles, creo que, información para que se registren para las siguientes sesiones. Este, nosotros todavía tenemos pendiente cuatro sesiones más la otra semana. Ok. Vamos, uh, where we have to cover more about the future. Ok. okay. Uh, okay that's all for today. Disculpen el retraso de ahora. Ok. Espero que no suceda la otra semana. Ok. Sorry. And then uh, I'll see you on Monday. Ok. So okay. have a nice, very nice weekend. Okay, enjoy it. You too. Good Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Okay.